detrás del camión negro ese que está ahí. con los presuntos eh, asaltantes de este banco y no se sabe hasta el momento cuántas personas están heridas dentro del banco. side of the building. Yes. I'm co we're coming around to it, I think, right now. That's as tight as we can get. Well, Kyle, we're trying to work our way around the other side of the bank now where we understand the second officer is, uh, is injured. Uh, we saw, we've just seen this white sedan pull up to the scene here. Now, this could be a rescue attempt, or uh, we, were, we also were, uh, were under the impression that the, uh, the suspects, and here we go, we have LAPD right now. Uh, Okay. okay, we have some gun gunfire right now going on. We just saw some uh, puff of smoke coming out of the side of this white car. And uh, we're exchanging gunfire in the parking lot as we speak. Uh, this is a suspect we're looking at right now. It looks like... You can turn a little bit more, Dean. Let me get a little bit better perspective on what's going on here. Yeah, we were under the, we were under the impression that the uh, white vehicle was the suspect vehicle. And we can see now that this person Looks like they're going to be getting into this car uh, or uh, working on a second car also. But we have seen gunfire uh, emitted from this car pointing out into the parking lot direction. And uh, of course, very cavalier attitude right now, uh, walking around in the parking lot uh, with their automatic weapons, brandishing their automatic weapons. Uh, uh, this situation, we were also, one of the reasons we had to leave Kyle so quickly is that we were, I was getting reports from our pilot that they were. Uh, actually firing on us right now. Now, Dean, if we can circle back around again, we're losing it behind the tree. And yeah, circle around that way if you can. 
and we're going to keep an eye on these two right here. They were firing off in the direction of the police, which are, uh, as you can see from this wider shot, they have the situation, uh, you know, well perimetered right now. But of course, now you have uh, suspects that are acting uh, 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 quite. Uh, uh, we have suspects that are acting quite brand. Okay, we're in. We're following the suspect car right now. We've seen them exchange fire with police already on at least uh, two occasions so far since we've been watching. And, uh, unbelievable here, as you could see earlier that the suspects were heavily armed and covered with body armor. And this indicates that these guys had some real planning going on here at this particular location. Well, there he comes. Came out from the side. I don't know what he was doing over there, but uh, now he's come back over. He's firing again. Now he's just going down the sidewalk and he's just firing. He's just firing at people. Oh, he's going. Oh, absolutely. I've never seen anything like this in all the time that I've been here in the city, and I've uh, I've seen quite a few bank robberies, and this is this is just absolutely unbelievable. Normally, they would be holed up inside the bank, but uh, this is just uh, completely brazen when they come out of that bank like that with no regard whatsoever, not only for their own own situation, but for anybody else. They're just randomly firing at anything in, in the area at all, and it looks like they're caught now just on a side street here in a residential area and hopefully they don't go anywhere else but uh, hopefully they can keep them pinned here and not allow them to get into any of the uh, homes in this particular area but uh, There's the officers firing right there. there. Right, they were firing back toward to where the suspect was, and apparently the suspect is somewhere around his truck, but we aren't really sure. We lost him behind the truck, but uh, that's where the officer was firing. He was firing at that suspect in that direction. Uh, we haven't really located him yet. Oh, wait a minute, there we do is. have some activity. Here he is. He's right beside the truck, continuing to walk eastbound. Now, I don't know what happened to the person in the car, but uh, this guy is just continuing to walk. Oh, he's firing some more at the officers. And the officers are off to his right, to the right of your picture there, across the street. You can see two officers behind those two vehicles right there, and they're trying to uh, maintain their cover position so that uh, they can uh, stay away from the suspect's gunfire. But I cannot believe this guy is just continuing to uh, come out here and fire at the officers in this area. Uh, he Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I've, I've, like I say, I've never seen anything like this happen before to where they just walk out and uh, uh, carry on this activity, but this guy has just absolutely no regard whatsoever. Now, wait a minute, hang out here. Just, he is down. Looks like he's been shot. Looks like he's dead. Where's that white car? He's out shooting at people. In the parking lot. I think in the parking lot. I'm not sure. That's the last I saw him. Where'd the white car go? Check the parking lot. He went back to the parking lot? Hang on. Suspects down. Could you turn me to three able? Three able. Three able. Where's three Baker? He's three able. No, but to your right. To your right. 
To your right. Keep going up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Wait. He's. He... Keep going. To your right. Up. There you go. I know, but he's dead. There's the other guy driving, though. Yeah. They just beeped us. Ask the test to give us where he's going again. He's driving down the street shooting. Where's where's he going? Do you know? I don't I don't have that location. I know the desk does. Call him. Uh, that's a... I don't have the location where the guy is going. Do you have it? Well, I understand it has driven away from the location. Uh, we're trying to locate that vehicle at this particular time. As you can see, they've got that suspect down. Uh, he's been shot. That's one suspect in custody. We're looking for the white car, and we aren't sure exactly where that car went. It's not in the parking lot, and if, uh, what we understand is it might be moving down the streets, firing as it goes, but we aren't sure. We're still trying to locate that car, and until we do, uh, We'll keep searching around this area here and keep an eye out. But right now, Archwood, this is, Archwood, he's, uh, apparently he's, uh, he's moved over to a street called Archwood, and I'm not sure. That's just uh, just south of Van Owen, and it's just up, uh, up the street here, just a little bit north of this location. So we'll take a look up there and see if we can find the suspect. Uh, vehicle on Archwood, but uh, Archwood and Ranford, I think. Ar Archwood, Archwood and Ranford, Ranford, or something like that. Anyway, we'll be looking around trying to see if we can locate this uh, car. And so far, they've got one suspect down. We do have numerous people injured here. We did see an officer who was very badly injured. And uh, okay, we have the car in sight right now. We do have the car. It's right up here, just uh, just a little bit south of Van Owen. And as you can see, they've got bullet holes all in the windshield of this car. And I don't know what relationship this pickup truck has to that car. Oh, there he, where, there he is. It's a suspect coming out of that pickup truck. And he's firing. I, I, I don't understand what, what's going on here. He's firing into the car. That's a suspect, Kent. I'm afraid to say that uh, that that is a suspect who is firing. It's not a police officer. He's he's firing in such random directions that it's obvious that it uh, it is a suspect here. The officers wouldn't shoot in that uh, in that manner. Me. But uh, uh, yes, right. Uh, too graphic here, as we saw in the last situation, because obviously. Uh, these aren't people that we're going to that the police are going to be able to deal with and talk out of a situation like this. They have uh, shown total disregard for human safety and uh, pedestrians and uh, citizens in the area, and obviously they've wounded already wounded two police officers. So this is a very dangerous uh, bunch of culprits here that the police are dealing with this morning. Yeah, two, two, car widths, uh, two car widths away, that's right, Kyle, and uh, the suspect is down in the front of that white car. You can just see the top of his head there. Uh, he also, uh, the, the police now that are dealing with this suspect, uh, I could tell that they are the SWAT team. They are in uh, military uh, uniform. And he's, okay, is this, uh, do we have a suspect surrendering or is this just reloading? No, uh, looks like maybe he was just cleaning off the muzzle of his gun or something. I thought at first that he might have been surrendering. But what we have right, be right behind this palm tree, and I, I have to reiterate, we hesitate to get too close to this situation because as you heard the LAPD officer moments ago on the uh, telephone say that he the uh, suspects have been firing in the air okay now we're watching a LAPD officer go around to the side of the car try and get a little bit better angle and this could come to a quick conclusion uh, as we speak uh, okay they're talking to the suspect maybe the suspect has his hands in the air okay we're gonna see a surrender now so this suspect is gonna be taken into custody as we watch uh, what we did see earlier is uh, when, when one of the um, when one of the uh, civilians in the area saw his car come in uh, he saw what was going on, understood what was going on, raced out of the car. Then this 
suspect that the PD are now taking into custody. They're going to swarm the suspect now and take him into custody. They've just taken away his automatic weapon. What, uh, what we saw happening was we saw the suspect try to unload his munitions and his gear from the white sedan that's in the right side of your picture, and he was loading that into the pickup truck. Okay, Dean, we can move a little bit closer now, which would be uh, 12 o'clock for you, straight ahead. That's right. And uh, uh, so we're going to come in and take a little closer look now at what's going on. Now, the police are still sitting up a defensive perimeter, you can see, which uh, could indicate and probably does indicate that there are some uh, more suspects involved or at large, I should say. We've uh, seen two suspects taken down, one uh, literally taken down, one taken down into custody as we're watching right now. And uh, that would leave at least three other suspects uh, at large that we don't have information on. And uh, so right now, this is the situation here, just blocks from the bank robbery uh, on uh, Laurel Canyon, just north of Kittredge. Tell me, tell me. They can because they're going to start a SWAT operation. Okay, we're just getting a little turbulence here. It's right behind you on your right. Actually, it's 3 o'clock, Dean. It's 3 o'clock. <laughs> well, uh, Kyle, right now, this situation that we've been watching uh, unfold has uh, pretty much uh, finished right now. They have a few PD officers that are still here on the scene to, of course, to attend to the suspect. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, maybe head back over to the bank because it still seems that there's police activity going on back there. And as a matter of fact, I think that these SWAT officers that we saw uh, take this uh, suspect into uh, custody, as a matter of fact, come over here and uh, show such a strong force of uh, firepower that the suspect was uh, unwilling to uh, take it to its final conclusion, so to speak. So he was, uh, he surrendered uh, under those circumstances. Now I think that those officers have been, have been dispatched back to the bank area and let's see if we can go back over here and just get a glimpse on what the activity is.